in most rural Cambodia, this is kind of the, the situation. More than 76% of Cambodians don't have access to, to grid electricity. And it's going to be years, if ever, when reliable electricity comes here. We're here to hopefully provide a solution that, that helps them. Our goal is to show that if you have no grid, then you have no problem because you have off-grid solution which is decentralized solar energy and it's even re more reliable than any other resources in these areas. Right now we're providing a basic solar system with two lights. Each family need to pay only two dollar per month. It is very comfortable price for them because they can afford it. So this is the first time that in Cambodia that a simplified a kind of pay-as-you-go system is, is being tested. I'm very excited about introducing the payment technology. Uh, that's, I think, something that's going to definitely change the, the market for solar in, in Cambodia. It's finally making it affordable to the people that we want to bring this to. But what I'm more excited about is this concept of a solar village. I definitely think it's the first time it's been tried. That's the first solar village in Asia of our foundation. We realized this concept several times in Africa. If a whole village is sun-connected, then decentralized solar energy can make a big difference uh, because you, you need energy to go forward. So the goal of the solar village is to bring solar energy to these villages, not only the households, but also the schools and clinics, etc., while bringing and generating social and economic development to the entire community. It's an incredible initiative from um, Solar Energy Foundation and NRG to come in and, and do this. And we've always been interested in working with projects that support uh, vulnerable families and communities and help keep them together. We are electrifying a, a village, which is will really change village life. We got approached uh, by the Solar Energy Foundation. They explained us about the concept of the solar village and they asked us to measure really what were the impacts of what was being done. We got really interested and excited because it's actually not that common to have right from the start this kind of measurement. We're gonna come up in the next few months to try to see the evolution, not only as uh, individuals, but also within the community. And it can bring a lot of understanding both to Cambodia, but also for the rest of the world. Here we have 113 family, 79 family already signed up. I train them how to use the beatbox, how to protect the solar panel, how to use the light, how to charge the phones and everything. Tang pi thloap nơ lang ngat la hot dal mien phleung yang ta mơ doi tha phiep u o doi tha mơ phaon khang tbong khang chueng khang lech. Ban la lai ban buon ban. Nong mien trao phleung ap pwen dam bai kai kon rien. Khan so bai. Khan tu a rom ti bo ot so hot chou phleung. For me, it's very amazing because I walking at night and see every house has the light, and everyone enjoy with their dinners. Everyone enjoying talking to each other. <coughs> Thank you.
It's not just this one village because it has the perfect conditions. If we, if we can make it work here, there's huge potential to replicate it all over the country. Bye. Oh, it's a little bit of 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 a little bit of